Alright guys, today I'm going to share with you four easy and fresh farmhouse DIYs, all things Dollar Tree materials, and I'm really excited because I thought I lost this footage and I found it today and I was really excited so I'm just editing as quickly as possible so that I can share it with you guys. But the first DIY is very, very simple, no hot gluing, no glue, no mess. You just take some pages out of a extra book that you have lying around, you roll it up, you take some Dollar Tree twine, and then you place it in a jar. You can decide if you want your pages to be different height. You can get bigger books, smaller books, and then mix up the height of the rolled pages. Or you can actually make sure that the uh, pages are smaller than the jar itself, but I wanted them all to be the same height and I wanted them to kind of stick out of the jar. Even the jar itself is from Dollar Tree as well, and even the scissors, you guys. It's all Dollar Tree. I know that destroying books triggers a lot of people, but this is a book from Dollar Tree that I don't think anyone's really gonna miss. It's not like signed by the author, it's not a rare book that no one can find, and yeah, in my opinion, it's just all right. We rip up pages and paper all the time, and this is just kind of the same thing for me. I just don't think this book will be that missed. But I think that it's even better and more beautiful the way that it turned out here, and that's the first DIY. I am loving DIY number two because you guys know I love a good floral arrangement from Dollar Tree and this is one that I just have never done before and I love it so much because it, for me, it can stay in my home decor all year round, not just for spring, but it does have that fresh spring feel to it for me and I love it. So you're going to take some pages out of an old book or any used book that you have in your house and you're going to tape it to the jar, you're going to tape the first one on both sides and then you're going to begin to layer them like you see me doing here and once I start layering them I switch the tape out to double-sided tape because it's just easier and then once you have all of the pages wrapped around the entire vase you're going to want to add some ribbon and the ribbon choice is going to be great because you could do it for any kind of holiday. I chose burlap so that it could kind of stay around year round but if I wanted to switch it out for spring I could do like a pastel colored ribbon and it would be really beautiful and then I threw in the most gorgeous daisy floral arrangement from Dollar Tree as well and I just would not think that something like this would come out of a Dollar Tree materials and that is DIY number two. The third DIY is just way too simple, but I love the raw elements of it that it kind of gives off. Took some bases, threw in some moss, put in a candle on top, and you're good to go. Looks so farmhouse and so fresh. I'm really loving the word fresh, by the way, if you can't tell, but it's just the best word for, way for me to describe how I feel when I look at this DIY. And the final DIY for this video is just too cute for words. It's utterly charming and we're going to use the same Dollar Tree book again, but we're going to make an, an adorable bunny garland. I feel like bunnies are interchangeable between Easter and spring. Uh, I don't know if you feel the same way, but 
I definitely think that this is just super cute and you can hang it up kind of just for the duration of spring. And basically in gist, we take a template, which I went to Google, searched for a bunny silhouette that I liked, and then I sized it to in my Word document of what I liked, printed it out, cut it out, and then I would stack a couple pieces of um, ripped pages of book pages and then I would cut it out that way. I'm sure there are much easier ways to do this, but that's pretty much how I did it. Then I took a Dollar Tree hole puncher, punched out the ears, and then I also took cotton balls that I got from Dollar Tree as well, cut those in half. I did this off camera, but I used a little bit of tape and rolled it up and then secured it to the little, the back of the bunny. Uh, and then I measured the area in which I wanted to string up the garland. Uh, and then I cut the twine out to fit and then strung the bunnies in there. I was showing you the scrapbook paper just so you could see that you, instead of doing book pages, you could do scrapbook paper. Keep in mind, book pages are a little bit more fragile. So if you wanted to also adhere the book pages to a cardstock to make it more durable and last longer, you can definitely do that. And also securing the bunny tails with maybe a little bit of dab of hot glue would make it last longer as well. But that is it for my Dollar Tree DIYs. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite, and I'll see you guys soon.